I think it's time that we completely reset the entire NHL. That is right, boys. I woke up today probably on the wrong side of the bed. I'm a little angry. I'm just sick and tired of the NHL being the same thing every single season. Honestly, I'm just bored and want to have an exciting video to make. I think the NHL is pretty exciting right now, honestly. It's in a good spot if I do say so myself. I'm sick of the same teams dominating, the same players dominating. I'm not seeing enough movement in the NHL. So instead, I'm going to be completely reset setting the entire league, destroying it to its core, and we're going to have a new fresh take on the NHL here in NHL 24. So we should 100% have new teams dominating this simulation. I am going to take control of the Dallas Stars, and I will select some players for their team. Obviously, we're doing a fantasy draft, so that should absolutely shake up the entire league to its core. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the new age NHL here in NHL 24. So here is the order of the NHL fantasy draft here in NHL 24. The first selection is going to be by the Toronto Maple Leafs. They have the chance to do the funniest thing ever and select Connor McDavid first overall. Vegas is actually second. We slotted in nicely there in third. San Jose's up here. Chicago, Calgary, Washington. So these are teams that don't usually win Stanley Cups in simulation videos that I do. So hopefully they select a very good players that can lead them to the promised land. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead here and uh, I am going to make a few selections for Dallas and then and we'll simulate the rest. We'll take a look at some teams. So, unfortunately for Toronto, they ended up taking Kale McCarr first overall. And Vegas got Connor McDavid, which is insane. I don't know why McCarr always goes first overall in these types of videos. He's two overalls less. He is younger, but McDavid's got more potential. He's a better player. He's probably going to be the better all-time player as well. Here we go. The Dallas Stars, third overall. We have some choices here, like Leon Dreisaitl, McKinnon, Pasternak. You know what? I'm going to take Leon Dreisaitl, 27 years old, 95 overall franchise medium potential welcome to the Dallas Stars and all right we are back here with the 30th pick of round number two who is on the board Alexander Ovechkin still here I mean he is 37 years old not doing too hot in real life Marshawn's here Evgeny Malkin Mark Stone I think I'm gonna go with Alexander Ovechkin 37 years old we will at least get like three years out of him and we are picking third overall here in round number three Marshawn's still on the board 91 overall 35 years old though I mean I was gonna select Patrick Kane who simulated you know what? Marshawn simulates very well also. All right, for my last pick as the somewhat of the GM of the Dallas Stars, I think I want to go with a defenseman who is still on the board here. We have Latang, Brent Burns. Yeah, oh my God. There's really no great defenseman left here. You know what? We did not select a goalie yet. I'm going to go with Freddie Anderson, 88 overall. Still pretty young. I mean, he's 33 years old. So welcome to the Dallas Stars. So here is every single selection by the Dallas Stars in the fantasy draft. Obviously, Obviously, I did the first four with Drysaddle, Ovi, Marchand, and Anderson. We also have guys like Evan Bouchard, Samuel Girard, Kakanyemi. Overall, it doesn't look like a terrible roster. Maybe not a Stanley Cup contender, but I think we can compete. All right, so I am going to take a look at the best players in the NHL and see where they landed at in the fantasy draft. Obviously, McDavid, he went second overall to the Vegas Golden Knights. Pass their next, gone to Chicago. So that'll be interesting. We did select Leon Drysaddle. McKinnon has gone to San Jose. Kale McCarr obviously went first overall in the entire draft. Draft. Kucherov is a Washington capital. Elias Pettersson has gone to Calgary. That is weird. Breadman's a Seattle Kraken. Owen Yossi gone to Minnesota. Sidney Crosby is in Madison Square Garden as a Ranger. Austin Matthews has gone home to Arizona. That is honestly fitting. Jack Hughes is still a New Jersey Devil, which is pretty cool to see, I guess. Miko Rantanen is off to Boston. Kachuk to LA. Victor Hedman to Ottawa. Jason Robertson's off to Vancouver. Braden Point has gone to Columbus. Pray for that man. Quinn Hughes is on the Anaheim Ducks. Adam Fox gone to Colorado. Barkov is a Montreal Canadian. Pittsburgh Penguins selected Mitch Marner. Charlie McAvoy's gone to Nashville. Brad Marchand on Dallas. Obviously Ovechkin on Dallas. Staline is an Edmonton Oiler. My God, would I ever love to see that in real life. Jack Eichel's actually going to be joining Crosby on the Rangers. That'll be cool. A little one-two punch down the middle. Iskinen on the Islanders. William Nylander's gone to Buffalo. I mean, his brother did play for Buffalo, I believe. Alex Nylander. Stammer's gone to Vancouver. Evgeny Malkin to New Jersey as well as Tage Thompson to the Islanders. Andre Vasilevsky has stayed in the state of Florida, but instead of playing for Tampa Bay, he's going to play for the Florida Panthers. Igor Shosturkin's a Winnipeg Jet. Sorokin's gone to St. Louis. Ottinger's on the Red Wings. Connor Hellebuck's gone to the Islanders. Damn, the Islanders have a very good team. 
Allmark to the Pens, Demko to Colorado, UC Saros is a Toronto Maple Leaf, Jeremy Swayman to Buffalo, obviously Freddie Anderson, we selected him, John Gibson's a Montreal Canadian. That was the worst French accent in the history of all accents. If we take a look at rookie skaters here, Shorzy, oh my god, I forgot to update the roster. Shorzy is on the Tampa Bay Lightning, 87 overall, 19 years old. He has franchise high potential. Connor Bedard is a Carolina Hurricane. Luke Hughes is on Toronto, as well as Adam Fantilli to the Edmonton Oilers. So before we go ahead and simulate five full seasons with the new NHL that we have with all the new rosters and everything, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a single live stream or video that I put out. So at the end of the very first season in this new age NHL, the Colorado Avalanche are going to finish as the best team as they go 56, 18, and 8. A very good record. Followed by the Toronto Maple Leafs, who won 54 games. Detroit was up there. The Islanders, who I did say were going to be very good. I mean, their team is absolutely stacked. Anaheim was up there. Dallas had a pretty good season as well, winning 48 games. At the bottom, we have the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, at the bottom of the NHL, we have Carolina, LA, Winnipeg, and the Arizona Coyotes, who have Austin Matthews and still can't get shit done. Temi Panarin's going to end up leading all skaters in points with 112 on the Seattle Kraken. Followed by Jason Robertson's 107. Jeff Skinner had one hundo. Marcia so 98. Jack Eichel was up there. Mark Scheifele had a good season. Kaprizov. Cole Caulfield had 94, as well as McKinnon, 93. Now, for the goals in the NHL, Miko Rantanen is going to lead with 61, followed by Robos, 52. Jeff Skinner had 49. Man, Jeff Skinner had a season for himself. Ethan McKinnon was up there at 44. Patrick Kane, of course, sims very well. He's up there at 44. Matthews had 43 on Arizona. For defenseman, Quinn Hughes is going to lead with 88 points, followed by Kale McCars, 87 as well as Carlson, who had 85. Adam Fox was up there with 79. Now for goalies in the NHL, UC Saros is going to lead in wins, breaking the all-time record with 50. All by Demko is 43. Spencer Knight was up there with 38. Cam Talbot, 38. Now for shutouts in the NHL, Demko is going to lead with 8. Here we go in year number one. This is the playoff matchups that we have. Ooh, we have Montreal and Toronto in round number one. That should be amazing. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Calgary Flames up against the Florida Panthers who were literally here last year but now here this year with a whole different roster and in the Stanley Cup Finals we have the Calgary Flames up against the Florida Panthers not a matchup that we've pretty much ever had now the moment of truth let's go ahead and see who's gonna take home the Stanley Cup in year number one and the Florida Panthers are gonna end up getting it done in game seven over the Calgary Flames it must have been a hard-fought series back and forth it would literally go tooth and nail against each other if that's saying even makes sense. I don't even know if it does. Now, for reference, the Florida Panthers have guys like Josh Morrissey, Drew Doughty. They have a very good top two D pair there. They also have John Tavares, Chris Kreider, Brian Dumoulin, Nikolai Ehlers, Cam Fowler, Cole Perfetti. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did this team go on and win a Stanley Cup? This doesn't even look like a great roster. Who's their starting goalie? They had Andre Vasilevsky in the net. 93 overall, 29 years old. I guess that does make sense. I mean, if I were to guess, I would think that Vassy absolutely carried them to a Stanley Cup, but I could be wrong. Chris Kreider is going to end up having the most goals at 11 and the most points at 25 in the entire playoff run. Followed by Brent Burns, who had 21. Landy had 20. Jordan Eberle was up there. Brady Kachuk had 19. What did Vassy do here? He went 15, 5, and 1, a 9, 2, 8 save percentage, and a 2, 23 goals against average. Very good stats for the playoff run. Redman is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Rantanen, the Norris to Quinn Hughes, the Lady Bing also to Breadman, the Con Smythe is going to go to Chris Kreider, the Calder obviously to Connor Bedard on Carolina, the Vezza is going to go to Demko, and the Selkie will go to Sebastian Ajo of the Winnipeg Jets. Now in free agency, there are some guys guys on the block here, or on the table I should say, that are pretty good, like Tavo Teravine and Roslovic, who's an 86 overall, Brett Pesci is an 87, Andre Pallad is here, Brennan Gallagher, now the RFA, Elias Pedersen is available, as well as Marty Natchez and Matty Beneers. do believe they're gonna end up re-signing with the team that they're already on right now, so at the end of the second season, the Pittsburgh Penguins are gonna be the best team in the NHL, winning 48 games, followed by the Red Wings, who actually won 49, but way less overtime losses, Anaheim was up there with 49, the Rangers, Nashville, Philly, St. Louis. No sign of the defending Stanley Cup champions, though. I have no idea where the Florida Panthers have gone. 
They did end up making the playoffs as the 16th best team in the entire NHL, but 42 wins. Now at the bottom, yet again, we have Colorado. Columbus is down here. Ottawa, Washington, LA. Connor McDavid's going to lead the entire NHL in scoring with 120 points, followed by Nylanders, 109. Jack Hughes is up there, 104. Patrick Laine had one hundo, as well as Leon Dreisaitl. Patrick Kane was up there with 99. Jeff Skinner still continuing to dominate. 32 years old, 90 overall, Jesus. Cole Caulfield had 99. Sam Reinhart, 99. Now for the goal side, Kucherov's going to lead with 57. Obviously on the Capitals, Patrick Kane was up there with 54. Jeff Skinner, 48. Chorzy finally showing up in the simulation, 47 goals. What did he do last year? He had 38 and 64 points. He's getting better year by year. He's now a 91 overall. Patrick Laine had 47 goals. Matthew Kachuk was up there. For defenseman, Neil Pionk is going to lead with 74 points. One more more than Quinn Hughes and three more than Kale McCarr. Spencer Knight is going to lead with 42 wins, followed by Gustafson's 41 and Bennington, who had 38. And for the shutouts, Linus Allmark's going to lead the way with six. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the St. Louis Blues up against the Philadelphia Flyers. Let's see who's going to go home with the Stanley Cup at the end of year number two. Also, this is not a matchup that I literally think I've ever seen in the game, so this is exactly what I wanted. And the Philadelphia Flyers are going to do it as they defeat the St. Louis Blues in six games in the Stanley Cup Finals. Philly had guys like Kirill Kaprizov at a 93. He was their best player. Mark Scheifele's on the team, as well as Mikhail Sergachev. Zuccarello is here. Vince Dunn. Eklund is up to an 87, despite the fact he's only 22 years old. Dylan Strom is here. Romana for their goalies. Their starting goalie is going to be Philip Gustafson at an 85. In the playoffs, Mark Scheifele is going to tie for goals at 14 and lead in points with 38. Like Zuccarello is 34. Jeff Skinner was up there at 29. Kaprizov had a very good playoff run. Dylan Cousins had 23. McDavid is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, Art Austin Hart Trophy. Kucherov's going to take home the Maurice Richard. The Norris, the Quinn Hughes, yet again, the Lady Bing, Nicole Caulfield. The Calder Trophy is going to go to bend over on the Carolina Hurricanes. That literally could not be more fitting. If you know, you know. The Conn Smythe is going to go to Mark Scheifele. The Vesna to Linus Allmark. And the Selkie will go to Leon Dreisaitl of your Dallas Stars. So, for the Free agents here in the offseason. The big guy is, of course, the big moose, Miko Rantanen, 94 overall UFA. Ed Marchand has also gotten a free agency. He's kind of declining now, 89 overall. Brent Burns is here. Max Domi, Max Pacioretty. Now for restricted free agents, we have Keandre Miller. And pretty much nobody else as he's the highest overall at an 86. So it'll be very interesting to see which teams they do end up signing with, especially Miko Rantanen, being that he's one of the best players in the entire league at a 94. And it looks like Miko Rantanen has left the Boston Bruins for the Detroit Red Wings, 94 overall, 28 years old. He didn't have a great season last year in Boston, honestly. Also, if you're wondering why you're not seeing the celebrations when a team wins the Stanley Cup, it's because I literally, it would be impossible so basically what I do is I go through the simulation. I see who wins the Stanley Cup. I do the same exact matchup in a playoff format. In the Stanley Cup Finals, one game, I go in, make sure the same team wins, and we see their celebration. But if I did that with the teams that won, the players that would be accepting the Stanley Cup and the awards and all that would not be the same because we completely changed the entire NHL, so it's literally impossible. The Vancouver Canucks are going to finish as the best team in the NHL at the end of year number three as they won 52 games. Followed by the Red Wings, who made the big signing, the free agency signing. Followed by the Red Wings, who had the big free agency signing in Miko Rantanen. They won 51 games. Vegas was up here 48. San Jose had a good season. Montreal with 45, as well as the Seattle Kraken. Now at the bottom of the NHL, we have the Jets. The Oilers were bad with 31 wins. Winnipeg, New York, and Ottawa. Yet again, Connor McDavid is going to lead the entire NHL in scoring, but he's also going to lead in goals with 62, and of course, he had 130 points. Followed by Jack Hughes, who had 108. Matthews had 105. Cole Caulfield had 105, as well as Ben Dover with 104 in his rookie season. Actually, it's not his rookie season. It's actually his second season in the NHL. He scored 43 last year. Patrick Laine was up there. Connor Bedard, who honestly has been pretty quiet overall in the video, had 103. Stammer, 100. And for the goal side, other than McDavid, 
Devo. Matthews is going to come in second place with 59 goals. All by Benz, 55. Line A have 49. Caulfield, 48. Kucherov up there, as well as Patrick Kane, who is 37 years old, but still scoring 46 goals a game. For defenseman, Kale McCarr is going to lead with 89 points, followed by Dougie Hamilton, 73. Carlson had 70, as well as Bowen Byram, who also had 70. Billy Huso had the most wins by any goalie with 42, followed by Dustin Wolf's 39, as well as Devin Levi, who had 36. And for shutouts, Kochekov's going to win with 7. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Vegas Golden Knights up against the Pittsburgh Penguins, which I mean, in the very last video that I did, they literally had the Stanley Cup Final matchup. The good thing is, we have completely different rosters, so let's go ahead and see who's going to take home the Stanley Cup at the end of year number 3. And the Vegas Golden Knights are going to get it done as they defeat Pittsburgh in 6 games in the Stanley Cup Finals. On their team, they have guys like Connor McDavid. Obviously, he went, what was it, second overall. Alex Dabrinkit is there with a 91 overall. Patrick Line is on the roster. He's a 90. Bowen Byram. Dawson Mercer's up there. Kurashev, Shane Pinto, Kevin Shattenkirk. They have a very good overall roster. Their starting goalie is Ilya Samsonov at an 84 overall. Yeah, I'm honestly not that shocked that they went all the way and won the Stanley Cup, especially a team with Connor McDavid on it at a 98 overall. Now, for the playoffs, Artemi Panarin is actually going to lead in goals with 14 and points with 30. Patrick Line also had 30 at 13 goals. Connor McDavid had 30. Rope Hints 26. Connor McDavid is going to take home all the major individual awards. The Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. The Norris to Kale McCarr. The Lady Bing, Nicole Caulfield. The Con Smythe to McDavo. The Vesna to Schmidt. Anton Schmidt. I don't even know who this goalie is. And the Selkie Trophy will go to Elias Lindholm of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now in free agency. Honestly, there's not too many great players on the market outside of maybe Patrick Kane, but he is 37 years old. Tola Vainen's here at an 87. Daniel Sprong. So at the end of year number four, the Carolina Hurricanes are going to go on and win 51 games. The best team in the entire league, followed by the Seattle Kraken, who won 49. Capitals were up there with 50 wins. Vegas, Tampa Bay, Chicago, and Boston. At the bottom, we have Minnesota, Colorado, and Columbus. Bendover is going to end up leading the entire NHL in goals with 60 and points with 114, followed by Cole Caulfield's 120. Well, Elias Lindholm was up there with 103. Shorzy had 100. Breadman 100 as well. Kucherov had 98. Nico Heischer was up there. Bedard had a pretty good season with 95 points. Now for goals. Now for goals, obviously Ben is going to lead the way with 60. Followed by Kucherov's 56. Shorzy had 53. Bedard was up there 49. Pasta had 48. Alexander Ovechkin, 41 years old, had 46 goals. Heiskanen is going to lead all D-man in scoring with 76 points. Followed by Quinn Hughes, who had 75. And Kale McCarr, 74. Swayman and Anderson are going to tie for the most wins in the NHL at 41 apiece. And for shutouts, it's going to be Ill Ilya Samsonov, who had six. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Chicago Blackhawks up against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's see who's going to go home with the Stanley Cup at the end of year number four. And the Chicago Blackhawks are going to absolutely dominate Tampa Bay as they sweep them in the Stanley Cup Finals. I mean, it was not even remotely close. They dominated every single game. Now, Chicago has guys like David Pasternak, Brank Clark, who's a 91 now, 24 years old, William Carlson, who's a 90. Alex Lafreniere is there, 89. Sam Reinhardt's on the team. Sanderson, Barbaranov, Michael Bunting. They have a very good overall roster. Their starting goalie is Devin Levi as well. He is now an 88 overall, 25 years old. So I'm not that surprised that they went on and won a Stanley Cup with this roster because it is very good. Now for the playoffs, David Pasternak's going to lead all skaters in goals with 17 and points with 38. Followed by Lafreniere, who had 35. Maybe he's not a bust after all. Cole Coffey was up there. Elias Lindholm, Kaprizov, and of course, Shorzy. And Dover is going to take home all the major individual awards. Miro Heiskanen is going to win the Norris. The Con Smythe is going to go to Pasta. The Calder is going to go to Michael Misa. The Vesna to Jeremy Swayman. And the Selkie will go to, yet again, Elias Lindholm. Now, for free agents in the NHL right now, I should take a look at UFAs. UFAs, they don't really have much out of Philip Hurdle, I believe his name is. I mean, Ryan Hartman's here. Drake Batherson, Samuel Girard. For RFAs, it's just a lot of young guys. So, at the end of the fifth and final season, in Chicago is going to be the best team in the entire NHL as they win 51 games. Followed by the Boston Bruins, who also won 50. Vancouver was up there. Vegas had a very good season. Calgary won 50 games as well as Washington. I literally cannot say this guy's name without my Alexa going off in the background. Shut up!
So this guy with the first name that I cannot say due to my Alexa going off in the background. Oh my God, I just said it again. Okay, we're good. Efrenier is going to go on and lead the entire NHL in scoring with 116 points. Oh my, Kaprizov's 115. Kucherov was up there. Nico Heischer had a big season. Cole Caulfield had 110. Now for the goal side, the leader is going to be past it with 55 goals. Followed by Porter. Who is Xander Porter? Is that his name? Xander Porter had 52 goals on the season. Followed by McKinnon, who also had 52. Kucherov was up there. Kaprizov. Ben Dover had 49. Nine. Quinn Hughes is going to lead all D-man in scoring with 81 points, followed by Miro Heiskanen, who had 73, and Shea Theodore, who had 71. And for goalies, Devin Levi is going to lead all with wins with 42. Freddie Anderson will come in second place with 40 on Boston. And for shutouts, Joseph Wall and Freddie Anderson are each going to tie at five apiece. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Chicago Blackhawks up against the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal's already up 1-0 in the series. So let's see who's going to take home the Stanley Cup here in the fifth and final final season of the video and the Montreal Canadiens are going to do it as they break the curse being the first Canadian team to win a Stanley Cup in over 30 seasons. Funny enough they were actually the last Canadian team to win it as well as they go on and defeat Chicago in six games. The Montreal Canadiens have guys like Alexander Barkov who is their best player at a 93 overall. They also have Brady Kachuk who's a 90. Dylan Cousins, 89. Matthew Nyes is up to an 88 overall, as well as Wierenski. Kuzmenko is on the team. Marchman and their starting goalie is going to be John Gibson at an 87 overall, 34 years old. I mean, I'm not too surprised that they won the Stanley Cup. They have a pretty good skating core. I mean, Alexander Barkov and Brady Kachuk are all world. Lafreniere is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while Passa is going to win the Maurice Richard. The Norris to Brant Clark. The Lady Bing to Alex to Brinkett. The Khan Smythe is going to go to Barkov. The Vesna to Igor Shosturkin and the Selkie will go to Leon Dreisaitl. And that is going to do it for this video, boys. We have gone ahead and completely reset the entire NHL, destroyed the league, stripped it down to its core, and we went through the fantasy draft having players on completely opposite franchises. And honestly, it was very good results. And new teams actually won the Stanley Cup for the first time in I don't even know how long. It feels like in a lot of simulations that I do, the same teams go on and win the Stanley Cup, like Tampa Bay, for example. They are so good that no matter what video I do, they always go on and win it but it's nice to see some new fresh teams win the stanley cup at the end of the season as did enjoy the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments below some cool and creative new ideas for videos i would like to say thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly wrap your willy also these vegas jerseys are so goddamn ugly it looks like you just splatted mustard all over it <laughs> the mustard tiger